All right, what's up, everybody? Starting off this video instantly here, baby. We're getting that Void Knight top, and then we're getting that Void Knight bottom. We had 500 points, and uh, realistically, my whole goal was to get Elite Void so that we could do TOB with Elite Void. Uh, spoiler alert, I didn't do that, but I'm still going to include the clips of me unlocking Elite Void and, well, Void and Elite Void all in this video so yeah here we are we're doing it dude we're unlocking the we're unlocking the helms now and then in the next little clipper we're going to be getting the elite portion of the void outfit so with that we had to do some things zora and a few other things that kind of led up to this so we had a few videos on the journey to elite void um they weren't directly labeled or called out as to be that but that's what, you know, the Zolra video and then the uh, the diary videos and stuff were meant for, realistically. Um, it was to get to this point to be a uh, loser. I don't really know. I, don't, I, I have not yet used it in any situation. Like, I don't understand why you really want to. Um, if somebody could help me understand, I would appreciate it. Like, the boost from my Slayer Helm and the other things that I have seem to outweigh the boosts that come with Void. So yeah, if you could explain it to me better than the shit that I've read, maybe. I don't know. The, it, the video link. Something. Something. Help me out, brother. But here we are. You know, we, we got a few tries in. And, uh, you know, we're dying. We're dying. Some stupid di deaths, to be honest. Um, but, I mean, that is with learning. Thankfully, in this mode, you have three attempts to do it basically two are free and then uh you want to leave the theater on your third life right um so here we got a little bit further into verzik and uh i was just planking on the p2 part i don't know why i was having an issue but you know i watched the video and uh i kept dying from the pillars so there's that as well um i dude i don't know it was a frustrating experience, to say the least. Not necessarily frustrating. This was probably the most enjoyable experience because I was like, oh, we're about to, you know, have, like, bossing. Uh, I didn't realize that running underneath that would kill me. So, you know, unnecessary damage is still a thing. Um, and my thing is, if I was wearing Void, I'd probably take more damage. So I opted out to not do that. And, I mean, it's only a few switches. Like, it's not that difficult. If your little brain can't handle it, I don't know what to tell you. Like, I... I know I got a small brain, but good lord, it's really not that difficult. Especially this. Bloat is super chill. Um, as long as you don't get caught like Smurf did there and cause team damage, you're pretty good, dude. Um, I fucked up our first attempt and got caught by Bloat. And uh, yeah, it basically PK'd both of us. But, you know, it is what it is. It's a really simple thing to do. I don't know. I feel like people like overhype this shit. But realistically, it's not that difficult. Um, of all of them, I don't know which one would be the easiest. Um, well, I didn't even include the first boss. <laughs> so, I mean, the first boss is pretty chill. I don't know what it's like it, outside of entry mode. But, you know, it is what it is, right? I, I didn't want to try the harder modes. I mean, I do, but... Uh, it's not necessarily a gear issue, it's a level issue at this point. I feel like I'm not going to do enough damage, uh, as well as people don't necessarily want to bring learners on raids. Um, so, I mean, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of things to consider when it comes to doing this. Unfortunately, we didn't get them beat down there, but uh, is what it is. Took a little damage, unfortunately, and... Uh, yeah, I mean, Bloat, I'd say Bloat is probably easier than the first boss, because the first boss, it just, the, um, the blood splat and stuff, and, like, working around it, and, uh, stopping the healers from getting in there to heal, is really the difficult part of it, especially when, uh, I didn't have the right mage set up to stop them. Um, 
We were doing ice bro- or no, we did have it. I think we had it. Maybe not. I don't really know. Either way, I just used the scepter. Just kind of chilled. And then, uh, you know what? Actually, I think Nilocas is probably the easiest. There's just a lot going on. You just, I mean, as long as you know which one does which, kind of, uh, gotta just prepare for that. It's super chill. Dude, Meli. Meli. It'll be Mele. What a fucking Jesus, bro. Melee. Are we playing Super Smash? Boom. Bada boom, bada bing. But yeah, every time, the first one is always going to be melee. Uh, at least I believe. I don't know. It's what it was for me every single time. There was never a time that it wasn't, so. Um, I, you want to get your switches, like, lined up in a good order as well, too. My switches were not lined up here, and uh, I was having a fucking time. Look at that. Look at that. Look, like, what are those swaps? What is those? What are those swaps, baby? Like, what are you doing? Um, I mean, it is what it is. I would, you know, under the pressure, the stress, don't want to die, don't want the homie to die, want to make sure that we can get through it. I don't know, when I'm doing things in front of people, it's, it's, uh, I get stressed, because <laughs> I'm like, I gotta be perfect, it's narcissistic as fuck, but, um, I don't know, I'm trying to get over that concept, right, like. Nobody's perfect. You'll be all right. Like, they're not going to judge you. I feel like I left a little bit too much of this fight in here, but um, it is what it is. I wanted to keep the full boss fight from all of the bosses on our, you know, successful trip um, and then kind of include the failures. Uh, for this one, I will hopefully not be a lazy piece of shit, and I will add timestamps so that... You can kind of move around to the timestamps should you want to. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I appreciate everybody being here for the journey. This is like a big monument. Uh, we got the quest cape, obviously, out after this. So um, this was our last thing that was needed. Um, T.O.B. was... Not T.O.B. Uh, Desert Treasure 2 was probably harder than doing a TOB run. I was definitely way too nervous uh, to go into it initially, but it's pretty chill. Like, super fucking chill. So here we are at Soda Seg, and uh, this one, pretty chill. Uh, you pray... Melee, and then you want to... I think the red one is mage, and then the brown one is range. Um, at least that's what it was when I was playing by myself. Uh, I don't know what the reaction time to negate the damage is, but uh, <coughs> as you see, the red one shuts off my prayer. So, a few misclicks. But uh, we got this. <coughs> so here we go. I feel like I spent too much time here, to be honest, and we're just, like, fucking PKing the homie. But uh, he also kind of fucked me when I went through and it was his turn, so we'll see that in a minute. Came out with 7 HP, got very lucky. Thankfully, he didn't have to try to tick eat Soda Seg because I don't think either of us have that ability, to be honest. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. We did it. We got through the fucking maze, and uh, I think that's one thing that if we did it, if I did it, or even if me and Smurf did it with other people, we'd have to learn that a little bit better. Uh, specifically, just because I don't want to PK somebody. Um, I don't know. I feel like it's not that difficult, and I'm not stupid, so I could probably learn it. It's just finding the people that are willing to um, teach. Not necessarily teach, but take me on raids. You know, I think that's the big thing. So, I don't know. I'm Right now I'm just working on getting my levels up, and then uh, we'll probably be going back to raids here in the next few weeks. I'm not really sure when that will be. Um, got a lot going on, so I've honestly not been playing too hard. I've been kind of taking a break ever since I got this completed. 
Um, still playing. Did a lot of Varlamore stuff. Um, I don't know. I just feel like it's time to take a little bit of a break from the computer. Live life a little bit. To be fair, it is uh, summertime, so that doesn't necessarily help. Um, see, I don't know what I did there. Like... I don't know why I got, it took seven, or it took so much damage down to seven HP, but it is what it is. We are getting through the fight regardless. I didn't want to use too many of my bandages because one of the things that I was noticing when I got to Verzik by myself, I didn't have enough heals, which means I was just making too many mistakes, right? You don't necessarily want to rely on having heals. You want to practice your clicks and be good at clicking properly, so... You know, there's a lot of stuff to consider and take in, uh, keep in mind when you're doing raids and higher level content, especially with other people that you might not necessarily know. Thankfully, I did this with Lucas, and I mean, I've known him since we were like seven years old, six years old, maybe younger, to be honest. But uh, yeah, we've been friends for a really long time. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. So yeah, you know, we're out here, we're doing, uh, what is this guy called? Holy shit. Um, Zarpus, there we go. And, uh, you know, Zarpus is kind of chaotic when you have multiple people. Uh, to be real, we didn't know what we were doing. I just, like, I was trying my hardest to stay alive and click where I needed to click. I don't know. It was, it was kind of ridiculous. Um, and then I feel like towards the end here, once he does his little screech, we could have done a little bit more damage. But, you know, it is what it is. Everybody is learning here. To be fair, this was Smurf's first time through. I don't think he had ever come through by himself. So, he was basically listening to me. And I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Uh, so, you know, it is what it is. But, you know, I didn't even use my alt. Could have used my alt. Done some good damage there. But uh, I didn't. So, and then he got hit and I got spooked. I was like, ah, shit. I don't want to die here. We've made it so far. Because, I mean, like, at this point you're, fuck, 20 minutes in? 15, 20 minutes in? Specifically because the Nihilocus takes forever. I don't know if that's always going to be, like, 5 to 6 minutes or what, but that... I hate that portion of the fight. And, uh, yeah, here we are heading into the big fight. Let's get it. We got to grab that Dawnbringer or whatever it's called. Um, quite a little bit of an embarrassment moment here. We did not do too great. And, uh, you know, it is what it is. Smurf went down. I didn't even realize this fucking thing has a special attack. We could have been using it the whole time. So, no special attacks done whatsoever, uh, which is, you know, whatever. It's kind of unfortunate. But, uh, yeah, I learned a thing or two about the pillars, and he was like, yo, does that have a special attack? And I was like, oh, shit, let's try it. I was mad. <laughs> I was mad. Um, she had five health, and, uh, you know, we were trying our best. We were getting nothing. We're doing nothing, baby. So... Yeah, 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 yeah. I've ran out of things to talk about. I'm sorry. It's been 13 minutes of me rambling. I hope you're enjoying yourself. Uh, but overall, it was a good time, man. It was a good time. And I'm glad that we got through the fight. One of the things that I need to focus on is when finishing her, like, right here. I thought I was about to get hit. I was scared. I didn't think I made it behind the pillar in time, which I did. But so here, when I take her down... I stand and still take damage from the pillar falling. So it's like, what's the point of me healing right there? You need to step away from the pillars and uh, prepare for that. So I was kind of just hoping that I could solo it. Not necessarily hoping that I could solo it, but I was like, let's see how far I can get to some get some practice in. Because I could have just died and we could have restarted the fight. But I didn't want to go into this fresh Um how do you avoid that blue attack? I don't really understand it. I was a little bit out of sync. Uh, again, I think I die here to getting hit by the purples. Yeah, and her stun. So, it is what it is. 
Let's go ahead and get the night locust. Oh, well, we died. Yeah, because you, you got to click it and then move. Click it and then move. That's the other thing that, uh, you know, you stay in the cycle the same as you would with Verzik. So, um, yeah. It's, <laughs> Lucas was like, what is fucking happening? Uh, I basically wanted to just send it. I said, you know, whatever, it's 100K. I'm not worried about that. Like, let's just send it, man. Um and then I was like, you know what, maybe I can try to explain to him how to do phase two right here. And, uh, yeah, I, I, the phase three portion, I didn't really go into detail or explain to him that you're supposed to attack her and then walk under. Um, but it is what it is. She was mainly focused on me, so um, I don't even think she really attacked him. I don't know. It was... It, it's interesting. We'll see it in a second here. <coughs> but, yeah, dude, look at me and my knowledge. Poison the purple night locust. All right, so here we are in the fight, and we're using those alts, and I still ended up standing here and getting hit by it. Unfortunate. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. Got our prayers on. I'm going to go ahead and click off. Click her. Click over there. Yeah, we tried to click away so we wouldn't take damage, and then we still ended up getting bumped by her and taking damage. Uh, here I am, still sitting, so now I've realized you gotta click and then click away. Click, then click away. Click, then click away. So as long as you're always clicking in P2, not necessarily up against Verzik, but as long as you're clicking to avoid, yeah, that, <laughs> you're good to go. Uh, you don't even need to do damage. I mean, you do need to do damage, but... Um, to learn it, if you want to learn it, don't focus on doing damage too much. Uh, there is a P2 Verzik trainer that you can use to uh, practice what I'm doing here. Um, this is a very bad example of what to do. But you know what I mean? So, like, when I was uh, avoiding the damage earlier, as soon as, as long as you're moving one tile every time she attacks, you're pretty much good to go uh, in terms of avoiding damage. Except for that blue attack, I really don't fucking understand. So, we got attack here, move. Attack here, move. This is a good example of what you're supposed to be doing. So see how I moved every time she had an attack? This phase, you want to switch over to your Protect Mage and then yeet those down and then yeet her down. But yeah, she shoots the, the, she shoots the attack to whatever tile you're on, basically. And then you want to move off of that attack every single time she shoots, which is basically every other tick, I believe. Or like a three tick phase or some shit i don't know one two three one two three one two three four i don't know i'm trying to look at my blue dots and count it out it's not making sense i'm also not paying too much of attention i'm just trying to keep the trying to keep the audio alive here i'm having a fucking time i don't got much to talk about anymore i've already explained the fight i've already explained you know what happens there we go, some big numbers, 30. I feel like this phase took a little bit too long, to be honest. We could have been doing better, both of us. Boom, here we are, P3, Verzik. Now this is the one that I was talking about where you gotta attack, and then walk here, attack, and then walk here, attack, walk here, attack, walk here, beautiful. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's super simple if you really think about it. It's not that difficult of a fight. Um, I don't know. I feel like I overcomplicate these things. I've, I've talked about it a lot already. Uh, we definitely overcomplicate them. But, but I'm getting better, and that's all that matters, right? Constant improvement. A continuous improvement. C-I. So, yeah, there he is. He kind of picked on that I'm walking underneath her every single time and avoiding the damage. So she's about to do her first special, which is the webs. You basically just want to run in a square around the room to paint the webs. As long as you're not on her, you're pretty good to go. Uh, true tile is nice for this, so my blue tile is where I'm technically standing. Um, and yeah, purple is my destination tile. And she's back into attack mode, so you attack, walk here, attack, walk here. Super chill, super fucking chill. Uh, she's a quite the ugly spider. Look at this. Look at this lady. Oh, my lord. 
But yeah, definitely one of the more fun things that I've done in RuneScape. Uh, I'm sad that during leagues I didn't do Chambers of Xerix to kind of learn it, but it is what it is. There's I feel like Xerix is a super loaded raid. It's easier, but it's super loaded in that of the rooms and trying to you know figure out what you're supposed to be doing. Um, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm just over estimating it and it's going to be kind of chill but i feel like there's just a lot to memorize not necessarily memorize you don't have to memorize it but there's a lot to remember and memorize if you really want to be good you know you want to have that shit in memory but as you can see she focused on me quite a bit and uh here we are we're in the worst part of the damn fight where the purple things are coming around and it starts to get a little bit chaotic. And we got to avoid the Nylox and da-da-da-da-da. He blew up on me. But, you know, we got no heals, 36 HP in a dream. And uh, by God, we're going to get it done. All right? We are going to get it done. We're going to hold in there, strategically walking away. She focuses on him. Let me go ahead and get a hit in. Bada-boom, bada-bing. She's about to do her attack. I see that. Let's move. We got to move. We got to run. Lucas is in here doing the damage, baby. Hitting the 27s and the 30. And then he heals her for a 48. So he negated like a quarter of the damage he did, which is whatever. I'm in here. Get a nice little 30 and a 23. He died into an 11. Oh, wait. He dies right there. He dies as she dies, which is crazy. Theater of Blood. SM Adept. I don't even know. Story Mode Adept. No, OMG, no way. I was like, did it count? And, uh, yeah, th th we did it, man. We beat Verzik. We finished our last quest. And, uh, yeah, we're making we're making progress, dude. I went and grabbed this because I wasn't sure if I needed to read the book. And uh, we got confirmation that his, count, his kill counted as well. So we did it. We made it through. And, uh... I was about to leave, but I didn't know if he was ready, so I didn't want to leave without him. I didn't know what the implications are, so I just waited for a, um, waited for a second. And then we left out. I didn't get anything crazy, and here we are. We got TOB completed. Um, it is the night before Varlamar, so, I mean, there's a lot that is going to happen and change. The main goal is to get the quest cape. We did it. We got the quest cape. We got the fire cape. We did everything that we wanted to achieve. Uh, with Varlamor coming out, there's going to be more quest to do. Um, there's also going to be, you know, new bosses, new guild, new new everything. There's a bunch of stuff. So, obviously, we're going to have a lot of more, a lot more videos to come in the future. So, um, like this isn't the end of the series. Uh, we need the quest cape specifically to do some diary tasks. And, uh, I mean, it's the closest that I'm going to be to getting uh, any sort of cape anytime soon to do the emote. So, uh, really was my main rush was to get it before Varlamor so we could do that. And, uh, yeah, I'm not reading any of this, obviously. You can if you want, but, I mean, I'm skipping through it pretty quick. Um, TOB is actually pretty easy. I would say it's easier than doing uh, the Whisperer, for sure. Um, here we go. Two quest points, four antique lamps, 303. Quite well, 303 quest points, 160 quests completed. And uh, yeah, now it's time to go buy that cape from the wise old man and then uh, lose it tomorrow. I, I think you lose it once uh, the new quests come out. So yeah, I don't know. Let's just go ahead and grab some GP. Shout out to my boy Gangster Smurf, my homie, longtime homie for years and years, man. I've known him for shit over 20 years at this point, which is ridiculously crazy to say. Um, <laughs> like, you don't get many friends like that. And, uh, you know, he's one of the first people that I started playing RuneScape with. Like, this friends list, this is my original friends list. There's some new people. You know, Fetty Main, we'll get into that in a bit. Dude, Fox Racer 434 shared account with me and my homie back in the day. Um, like, so that that's what this account is. Uh, it is now an RS3 account as well. Uh, I've never played RS3. Uh, when they released Old School RuneScape in 2013, I made this, uh, you know, I logged back in with my old username and everything and made this account link to that account, whatever, however it worked. Um, 
but yeah, you know, it's been a fun journey. I obviously have not been playing for the last like 10 years very hard. I started playing really, really intently about a year and a half ago. Um, I've always played on and off and bullshitted. Uh, it was just kind of like a nostalgia trip thing, but now I like actually want to be good at the game and do real content and hard things. So, you know, we have this all left to do. We have some diary stuff to do. And, uh, you know, the next big thing to tackle are the combat tasks. Um, get all the easy, medium, at a minimum, easy and mediums done. Uh, and then work towards doing the rest, right? All right, so we have finished all of the quest as you seen in the last clip. So let's go ahead and talk to the wise old man and let's get our quest point cape, baby. Let's do it. Boom. Yeah, I'm good, dude. Oh my fucking god. Let's go, dude. And I did it with the homie, bro. Uh... Hey. Let's go, dude. I'm a fucking nerd. Oh, God. Hell yeah, man. I'm hyped. Uh, I think I'll probably just keep the spiel in after TOB without the camera on. I thought I had the camera on, but, uh... I did not. Hopefully the camera wasn't on the whole time I was doing that raid with my homie and just chilling. But you know, I mean, it is what it is. Now I think an elite task would be to go to Falador and, uh, dude, oh, dude, it's pimping. Pimping. Oh, I love it. I love it. Uh, I think we gotta go to Falador and then emote on top of the castle, so... Alright, I think this is where we want to be, but I mean, look at it in all its glory. We got ourselves the quest cape, baby. Obviously, there are more quests to come, new area to come, and a lot more to happen. So, we'll probably have more quest videos in the future. Uh, I'm a sweaty little nerd, and uh, yeah, basically I accomplished this over the last year. Um, probably like a year and a month on the dot. I had all of the free-to-play ones done. I finished all of the free-to-play ones in like 2015, 2016. And then I stopped playing for a little bit. So, I mean, I've been all over the place. Hopefully the audio for this is good. Let's go ahead and get this skill cape emote running, baby. Boom, elite task in Falador area complete. And, uh, yeah, that'll probably be the end of this video. Thank you so much for all of the views and support over the last two to three months. Um, yeah, I don't necessarily know what is in store next, but, uh, we'll have videos. So I'll see y'all then. Peace.